Hi, this is White Mage Serenia, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In today's episode, hopefully we'll be able to finish up the Phantom Train, and hopefully the rest of Sabin's uh, scenario. So let's continue and see how far we get. And we're back, there's just a couple of bombs and hazers. And a note on bombs that I forgot to go over, is they, have a, they also have a move called Blaze, which can hit everyone, or just a single target person, for a, a fair amount of damage. Anyway, go up here and use the save point in a tent if you need to. Now, the unique thing about tents in Final Fantasy VI is that whenever you use one, it has a different graphic on top of the tent at the peak there, depending on who you use. Like if you had Mog as part of your in your first party slot, it would show like a Mog's uh, pom pom on the top of their head. Sabin just like a knuckle icon. I think uh, just 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 stuff. They all ha uh, they all have just different nice little graphics. It's kind of unique. I like that. Anyway, as far as I know, tents fully heal you in this one. We'll check that out. Yeah, they fully heal you. When you can, uh, you can only use them at save points or on the world map. So, okay, save your game and let's move on. Now, what? Yeah, we're at the uh, thing here. So, what you want to do is you want to go in here. You want to come over here and check this, and it says to stop the train. You must push the first and the third uh, smoke stack, which I already knew that. I was just wanting to show you where to look in case you didn't. Um, now, once you have the first and the third pressure valve switched, you want to... And we're back. That was just a couple of uh, whispers there. So, like I said, you want to come up here and press this thing on, this, on that there. So you've been slowing my progress. Wait, wait, what? We gotta fight the train? Say what? Okay, can someone tell me how this works? How in the world are we running from a train running at full steam? I mean, I always thought something like this would happen. that aside, all you have to do really is just pummel him with everything you have. He can be pretty tough at times. So, uh, yeah, Suplex hits this thing for f pretty good damage. That's why I used it. Let Cyan charge up to level 4. Ooh, Scarbeam. Yeah, that just hits us for good, decent damage. There we go, we got him. That's actually the easiest I've ever had it with the Doom Train. In any case, he has he has another move called uh, Evil Toot, which gave, uh, can give you all kinds of status effects, similar to a Marlboro's Bad Breath Attack, or in this case, Sour Mouth in this game. And... Uh, it's not very fun. He also has a move called, what is it, Flywheel or something like that? It sends a train wheel at you that runs over you. It does fair damage. So, yeah, I mean, if, you don't, if you're not fully prepared for that fight, it can go south pretty quick. Still don't get how you can fight a train, but okay. That works for me. So, anyway, just wait for the train to do its thing here. And you'll run into another rather sad scene for Cyan. Okay, the train stops, and we all walk outside to find out what's going on. Oh boy, finally got off. We shouldn't be here. Now let's go! And they both motion in agreeance. And, oh boy, we see everyone loading into the train that has recently departed. No! 
Elaine, Elaine. I still want to think that's Dwayne, but Cyan, is that your wife and child? As far as I know, Cyan's son in Japanese was actually called Sun. So. Elaine, Wayne. And. There they go off on the Phantom Train. It's kind of a sad scene. But what can you do? So anyway, what you want to do is once you have control of uh, Saban here, talk to Shadow, he'll tell you to leave him alone, talk to Cyan, and you get dots. Then you basically just run around till the scene fades out. If I recall, just uh, talk to Shadow again, talk to Cyan, you get the dots again. The scene eventually will fade out there, see? Cyan just needed some time there. Okay. Now... To show you what I was talking about, but the, the the lead character's different tent animation, I'm going to switch Cyan in front and let him use the tent this time. See, his is like a crown or something. I would recommend saving your game as well, but... So anyway, once you uh, are ready, all you got to do is just come up here to this uh, cave mountain pass. Okay, here's something. I highly recommend you take all of Shadow's gear, including any relics he may have, because he's about to leave your party. So just keep that in mind. Now just run up here. Man, I hope I have enough time to show you the boss. We'll find out. This must be Baron Falls, to the south of the Velt. There are dangerous creatures here, and the Empire is right on our tails. But if we can slip through the Velt, we can reach the town of Mobliz. Or Mobliz, uh, however you want to pronounce that. Shadow says he served his purpose, and he's out of here. Thanks for the help, though, Shadow. And we want to jump? Why not? Have Sabin try to use uh, flame uh, fire dance every chance you can. These these fish are relatively weak, if I recall. Just keep up the pressure and you'll do fine. Gotta fight three more. Come on, keep up. Hurry up, guys. That should take care of that set, yes. And we have two more. And I messed up the fire dance blitz. Lovely. Come on. I'm running out of time here. Come on. Here we go. Here's the boss. The Rizopas. I don't exactly know how we're able to fight them. We've fallen down a waterfall. That doesn't seem to scream, Oh my god, we can get into a fight here. Oh, and apparently, he's immune to suplex. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Anyways, unfortunately this is all the time that I have 
for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Join us next time for more adventure, and we might uh, be able to explore the, the uh, Velt some more. Anyways, I hope you haven't been enjoying this so far. This has been White Mage Serenia saying have a nice day.